What's up? You having a good day? That's good. Wanna see me paint some stuff? Parts on the table, door panels. That's what we're doing in this video. In the videos I've watched, they're using one of two products. One of them being Duplicolor Vinyl and Fabric. I got these for about $8 a can at the parts store. It's about $13. And then Sem Color Coat, which is a little bit more expensive. It's more well known. This was about $16 a can online, um, about $16 a can in store as well. We're going to be comparing those two as we paint the interior of the truck. And since I'm going to be comparing the two colors, I also wanted to compare the two adhesion promoters. We have Bulldog, which is a little bit cheaper, Sem, which is on the more expensive end. And what this will allow me to do is paint one panel with Sem, which is a little bit more expensive. Everybody says it's a little bit better. And the other panel with Duplicolor. And in the end, you can see the final results and choose what brand you would go with. First step we need to jump into, it's going to be common across whatever we use, is prep. And it's also referred to as one of the most important steps. So let's get into that. All right, we have our door panel here. And for prep, we are going to start with soap and water. Then we're going to move to acetone and we are going to finish it with isopropyl alcohol. Soap and water is going to get off any of the heavy stuff. So down in the door panel, there's some gunk. The acetone is going to penetrate, scuff up the surface and make sure it's nice and easy to bond. Then the alcohol is just going to get off any fingerprints, contaminants. You want to do that right before you paint. So we're going to go through them all right now. There was so much gunk in the pockets, I took it out and I sprayed it out outside. So now I just need to wipe it down and get it ready for the acetone. Gloves. I forgot, it's recommended to wear a mask. All right, now that one's done with the soap and water and the acetone, I'm gonna set this aside so it can dry out. I'm gonna do the other door panels and then I'll come back doing all with isopropyl alcohol right before I spread. All right, now that we have both the panels scrubbed in soap and water, washed over in acetone, before we go over it with alcohol, we wanna tape off all the areas that we don't want the paint, dye, whatever you're using. Since we got the borders all taped, now we're going to take some plastic, lay it over, and then tape around that so we don't get any spray in the air. So we don't get any spray in the middle of the area. Alright, we have the tarp set up so to limit overspray, we have all the pieces taped off, we have them scrubbed up, so now it's time for the adhesion promoter. All the videos I've watched recommended adhesion promoter. The front panels we're going to do an SEM, so we're going to head with the SEM adhesion promoter. Allow about five minutes in between the first coat, put on the second coat, these are just mist coats, and then we're going to lay down the first coat of color, which will also be a light coat, but first we need to apply this. All right, time for the second coat. Now that the adhesion promoter is drying, we're gonna shake up the black and get ready to lay that down. The first coat will be very light and the following coats will get a little bit heavier. The goal is to keep it light the whole way through and then it'll look great. All right, we have the first coat done. It's pretty light. We're going to let that dry, tack up, and then we're going to spray the additional coats. All right, we let the paint sit for a couple minutes. Now we're going to remove the tape and then let it dry the rest of the way. All right, we already prepped these panels, taped off all the area, removed all the contaminants. 
So now we're ready to spray. For these rear ones, we're going to be using Bulldog Adhesion Promoter and Duplicolor Vinyl and Fabric. These are cheaper than the SEM product, so we want to see if they hold up just as well. The Adhesion Promoter is going to make sure the color adheres to the plastic. Alright, we let that set up for a couple minutes. We'll do one more light coat and then we'll be able to start applying the color. Alright, we're in the truck. We have everything reinstalled. We have the pillars. We have doors, we have the sun visors, everything is looking nice. And I figured it wouldn't be fair if I didn't do a scratch test and a hit test against some of these panels to see how they turn out. So let's kick these a couple times and see if the paint flakes off. All right, so the number one spot that I think I'm gonna get dings is right down where your feet go along the door panel. So I'm gonna kick this door a couple times, bang it up a little bit, put my foot on it, now we'll even scratch the top and then we'll do the same to the back. Time for this one because I'm sure the kids will not be forgiving. And we're back inside to finish the video. So this is what the door panels looked like the front and back before I did any of the scratch tests and then this is how the top railing stood up to the scratch test. There were no marks left behind and this is how the bottom of those door panels stood up to the kick test. Kick tests are going to be a lot harder on vinyl because it's like you're wearing two big erasers on your shoes so I plan on touching these doors up probably once a year just taking the door panels off respraying the bottom, respraying the whole thing if I have to, because vinyl paint is not permanent. You're not going to get these to stay permanent. With a deep enough scratch, it's going to go right through. Overall, how they came out, I definitely like the look of the SEM better than the Duplicolor. The Duplicolor just mo looks more splotchy. If you're not a beginner and you do this all the time, you could probably make the Duplicolor look great, but if you're a do-it-yourself or first time doing it, that's what I was doing. Some came out better. Ease of applying them, I would say they're around about the same. I regret either way not buying the little trigger that you can use to, to spray paint. After three days of doing it, my forearms were completely cramped up uh, and it was miserable. All right, now when talking about cost, I bought these from JB Tools. I would highly recommend them. They're the cheapest I found for both of these. For some, they have it for $15.84, and for Duplicolor, it was around $8. Uh, if you would just go to Amazon, Amazon has some for $21, and Duplicolor for 13 So there's a little bit of a variation in price, but SEM is always more expensive. Depending on how much you're doing and how often you're doing this, I would recommend going with SEM. If you really can't swing the cost, you're not really missing out on much if you can make it look not splotchy uh, going with the Duplicolor. It seems like they both hold up relatively the same. Overall, from my final thoughts of if you're thinking about doing this project yourself, I would highly recommend it if you don't mind touching up the paint every year, maybe every couple months, depending on how off and you drive the vehicle is definitely not something you're going to spray one time you're never going to have to worry about it again if you want a different color panel and you want it to be permanent then vinyl and fabric spray any kind of spray paint is not what you're looking for i hope you enjoyed this video likes and subscribes are always appreciated and it's on to the next project for me